Hey guys, it's Nate. Wait a second, pause. EA Sports, where is this hero pack? We've been waiting five days now and we have not received it in the game. Did you just put this pack in the code to tease us? To confuse us? Drop the pack, come on. Content's in L anyway. The least you can do is drop the hero pack. All right, back to the video. Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Bit of banter there at the beginning because we're still in question of where in the world that Hero World Cup pack is. But today, we need to start talking about that loading screen that we had yesterday showing us and telling us that Black Friday and the Road to the World Cup promo along with the World Cup icons are coming on Friday, right? That is the countdown date. Starts on Friday at 6 p.m. UK, so it may not be starting early like Black Friday usually does. We have a lot of questions, right? We're going to try to tackle that in today's video. We've already done a bit of a video talking about Black Friday. I'll link that right up here. But also, there's some more details that we know based off of packs that have been added to the code. We just have a lot of questions, and we're going to try to dive through some of that today and break down what's going on in this game because it's starting to get a bit hype looking towards Friday with honestly the unknown right and i think we will get a lot more leaks that will make a lot of stuff known to us here pretty soon but there is a lot to digest and talk about right now regarding what's upcoming on friday in this game so if you're excited for a world cup promo road to the world cup i guess which seems like it should start before the world cup but who knows if you're excited for the promo friday and if you hope that this promo can inject some life in this game hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new let's start talking about this loading screen and what is all going inside of it and what is there to see because you see black friday at the top you see road to the fifa world cup you see the two car designs now this car design you may have seen it before we talked about it before this is the road to the world cup car design and it's even on ea's website they've told us this coming this promo has been coming soon for the past couple of days this really isn't that big of a surprise to see it on the loading screen but what is this promo right Everything before in FIFA that has been road to the blank, road to the whatever, has always been a live promo. Are we about to have two live card promos in a row? That's almost what it seems. But what would these live cards upgrade for and how would they upgrade? The only kind of thought process that I have right now is that maybe it's going to be some sort of an individual player-based upgrade system instead of a nation or country-based success building upgrade system, right? Right now we have PTG cards. Team wins, they get upgrades. Team goes further in the tournament, they get more upgrades. These cards, maybe there's some sort of different upgrade path here. That's the biggest question that we have right now. Are they even going to be live cards, right? Again, we're kind of starting to assume they might be live cards because of the name and the fact that there looks to be some sort of, uh, you know, a yellow arrow in the picture there in the card design. So all signs are pointing towards that it's a live card, but we can't even confirm that at this time. I will say this though, we're gonna have a lot of leaks coming, all right? Foot Sheriff is gonna be busy. Twitter is gonna be madness the next couple of days. And I think that all the leaks that we're gonna see for Black Friday, maybe still pre-Black Friday, starting tomorrow potentially, and the, all the unknown around these promos right now, it's going to start to cause some, I guess, hype. And there's going to be some buildup to all this coming. But the idea that I have right now for maybe what these World Cup cards could be would be something like the Fantasy Foot promo from last year where it was live cards that upgraded based off the player's success more so than the team's success. You guys remember these, right? Like if attackers, I think it was score a goal or assisted a couple times and they started in a certain number of games and appeared in a certain number of games, they got upgrades. And then the defenders, it was appearing in games, starting games, and clean sheets, I believe. So, um, you know, maybe it's something to do with more individual upgrade. I really do not know. But that is our loading screen right there. We know those cards are going to be out this Friday. And we know that World Cup icons are are going to be out this Friday as well. Now, it's not even, honestly, it's not even worth digging into what icons will be out this Friday because I would almost uh, guarantee you guys that we are going to see the like list leaked of what World Cup icons are going to be released. And I mean, guys, we already have these in the game, right? You guys have seen this. You know that we've got different versions of uh, live cards that are in here, but that's what these dynamic images of icons that are searchable in the transfer market, that's the card design they're going to be on. So, if you go in here and search up some of your favorite icons, you see like a Mateus. Again, some of the dynamics are similar to the moments dynamics from that we've had in FIFA's past, but those cards should be in packs Friday as well. So a combination of those icons and the Road to the World Cup cards, but there's also some other questions about what is happening on Friday. Foot Sheriff tweeted out some packs that have been added to the code. Uh, Foot Hero Guarantee, 86 plus star, 81 plus 
times 15, 83 plus times 15, and a Black Friday Centurion pack. Now, there is a lot to dive in and think about about this stuff. Um, but the, the first thing I see here is 86 plus star pack. That means fodder is going to get supplied a lot. That is a lightning round pack. And if you guys remember on Black Friday is the beginning of lightning rounds, usually every single year in FIFA. And I think that's going to be the same this week as well. So as we're going to talk about the market and getting into that sort of side of things here pretty soon in the next couple of days, there's going to be a lot of supply incoming for whatever is in packs. 81.15, 83.15, that explains itself. But the Black Friday Centurion pack, this is where we have another question mark, where we have questions. What are these cards? Because also, Foot Scoreboard tweeted yesterday and saying that there was a new card design, item rare type, Foot Centurions. Also, it's interesting that Footies is in here. Maybe that's just left over from last year. I don't know. Foot Centurions. Um, that's a new one. And it almost kind of seems like, remember last year how we had the signature signings promo on Black Friday where it just seemed like EA Sports just threw together some sort of random promo team and it threw some, together some sort of idea to get a promo team out on Black Friday. Are we going to actually have three different cards and packs on Black Friday? Are we going to have Road to the World Cup, World Cup icons, and whatever these Foot Centurion cards are? Maybe. I don't know. That's why I'm saying we have a lot of unknown information right now. And that... Could be good, could be bad. We'll just have to see how it ends up uh, getting released on the game. But I'm really curious because, again, like I said, there's just so much unknown. Uh, but I think a lot of that unknown is going to be made known to us. I really feel like we're going to have a lot of leaks in the coming days. And, you know, as I just kind of switch over to market mode here for a second, that's one thing on my mind that has me thinking that some of these Path of Glories, as, of course, they keep rising up in price, apart from the teams that lose games, <clears throat> Argentina, and... You see some of these guys go down in price after those games. A lot of the cards that are still up super duper high in price. Yes, Lukaku. Yes, Serge Gnabry. I'm looking at you guys because a lot of people have invested in these as well. I think honestly with how much these guys have gone up, it is a really safe time to take the cash and to take the money. And honestly, as you look at like 90% of the cards are listed on the market. Look at these, right? No games played, current club. This guy, this card hasn't even played a game. Five owners, no matches played. There are so many people that are invested in, in these cards. Selling earlier uh, rather than later, of course, these guys that have games today is 1,000% the move. It really is. I know these guys are rare, and it's like, Nate, they just keep going up. Could they go further? When you're over a 50% rise, and then like Serge Nabry, Serge Nabry is almost up 100K at this point. He was like 75, I think, at his absolute lowest. Mid. He might have been even under that. I have no idea. Um, I know Lukaku was like 58K. I think Nabry was under 70,000 coins last week, and now he's 165, right? So that sort of stuff with all the unknown that there is with the loading screen, what's going to be coming with this weekend promo. It's Black Friday. It, it, honestly, to me, if you're happy with the profit that you see on a card, and if you're not holding one of these cards to try to see out like the full upgrade process and potential on these cards, then I would think about selling. Let's be realistic, right? How many teams get into the knockout round 16 that means only 16 of these however many cars we have are going to get a plus one upgrade uh even for the first upgrade and then after that the number dwindles down a lot so unless you kind of get lucky or start to plan out who you think is going to get all the way to the world cup final i think a lot of these guys prices um you know maybe you could go up some more of course since they're live items and have more upgrades on the line or getting closer to the upgrade but a lot of them i think have gone up so much they're so invested in that I would think about maybe taking the cash on a few of them uh, just because with everything that we don't know, I think there's going to be a lot of hype and could be some panic selling maybe based on what we learn and what we find out. So again, like I said, a lot of questions. One thing that is not in question though, EA hit us with some information yesterday that is really disappointing, but we still have questions actually. After reading this, they said Team of the Week is going to be paused, right? Uh, team of the Week 9 players will remain in all the current Team of the Week packs until the next Team of the Week is released. I read that statement today and I was very disappointed because right now I have two Team of the Week packs saved up. And I know some people that have way more than this saved up waiting for Best of Team of the Week. Now, could Best of Team of the Week still be in these Team of the Week packs? I think the answer is yes, because in previous years, they kept the normal Team of the Week in packs during Black Friday and Best of Team of the Week was still in. So... Um, I guess if you're saving these, we'll find out on uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, whatever it is. We'll find out if 
there are best of team of the week cards in these team league packs don't really know as of now it seems like a 50 50 shot um but you know that information that ea released yesterday is a bit of a bummer because now i don't want to even invest if you invested in like nuno menge if you invested in any of these guys that are in team of the week number nine i'd be a little bit careful i sold my moise keen yesterday even after the quadrato came out i just took the cash these guys are just gonna kind of you know, if people open their team of the week packs that they saved up to try to get best of, these guys are going to get hit with a lot of supply on Friday or whenever best of team of the week go into packs, uh, which again, best of team of the week. Uh, I don't have the tweet open right here, but Foot Sheriff confirmed that best of team of the week is coming. Um, EA have not said it yet, but it's a part of the Black Friday promotion. So just be careful if you own any of these and if it's in your team. Of course, nothing from this team is over 40K or really much more than fodder. But I know a lot of people have invested in Nunez, Nunez and Keen. So just be careful with those cards because I think on Friday, they could take a hit with people opening their team of the week packs to see if we get best of inside of that. But also the biggest L with this is too, what in the world are going to be the rewards, player picks, and packs? It says they will be placed, replaced with new minimum overall rare gold packs and players picks, but that's not enough information, EA Sports. That is not enough news. That is not enough detail to what we need to know. If it's just gold cards, guys, I mean, it's obvious. If it's just gold cards, that will be a massive, massive L. There has to be... We know we've seen some packs added to the code, right? I don't know if they're going to give us red picks of Team of the Weeks like from Team of the League 1 all the way to Team of the Week 9 and do like best of Team of the Week in rewards for, for red picks or for packs. I don't understand. I don't know. But EA, please make the rewards good, right? If you just step up the rewards a little bit, it's the World Cup mode, for goodness sake. Make the rewards a little bit better for once. Allow us to have some fun, even if it's for a shorter period of time. That would get so many people hype and a reason to play weekend league and a reason to be on the game and a reason to grind. So I think that'd be huge. But again, we're crossing our fingers for something good there um, and hoping that EA do something massive with the rewards changes. So that's kind of like most of the information that we have based off of the loading screen, based off of the leaks that we have. Now, again, like I said, guys, there's going to be a lot more leaking, a lot more information is to come, right? We got to figure out what these cards are. We're going to have to figure out what icons are impacts, what players are going to be a part of this promo, what the promo is even about. So stay tuned to Twitter and make sure you check in for all the other videos upcoming after this. I expect to have a lot more information tomorrow based off of what we just learned in general about what this upcoming promo is um, and and maybe what even happens tomorrow on on thanksgiving on thursday for a potential pre-black friday promo like ea did last year so besides that let's look at the current state of the market and of the game like i said best of team of the week was confirmed and you did see some sell-off yesterday on some of your high tier team of the week cards some of them have rebounded back though this marquinhos was all the way down at 330 he's back up to 364 mbappe neymar these guys i believe are dropping um, mbappe was 1.7 mids he's now back up to 184 again you have some of the the rarity of, of these cards kick in as well and they bounce back a bit right i saw neymar at 1.02 He's currently 1 million coins flat. All right, that is the lowest Neymar that I have seen yet. So still a very rare informed card, but I believe that there's some more panic selling um, on these cards headed this way because, again, these guys in best of Team of the Week packs uh, and lightning rounds happening over the weekend, there's going to be a lot of supply. That's still the worry and still a consistent thing through Black Friday is the supply. So I'll be very, very careful with having those in your team. I think there will be a buy time on those, and we'll talk about that um, here pretty soon as we get into the weekend. But again, for the rest of the market, it just is it's slow moving, right? The path to glories are the biggest talk, and they keep moving the most. The World Cup heroes, they move a little bit. Gold cards are not even moving that much, right? Some of them just kind of continue to slowly trickle down in price or just stay the same. You know, uh, a lot of right backs dropped yesterday looking at this gold Kyle Walker. We'll talk about that in a second, but the right backs dropped a lot because of Quadrado. Now, what I'm expecting today, like I said, is with this loading screen dropping and with maybe a lot of leaks coming out, there could be a little bit more panic selling, especially on the Team of the Week cards, especially on just your most... Um, you know, most meta places on the market. Like, I still think, even though Mbappe could be in best of team of the week, Mbappe's gold card, 
I think needs to go down even lower in some panic before I would feel comfortable buying this because the, the opportunity here is that, yes, Mbappe could be a best of team of the week, but last year, remember, they did best of team of the week in two different segments where one card, one set of cards were in packs right away, but then they went out of packs and another set came in. If Mbappe were to be in that second set, he would be in packs for a lot of the lightning rounds on Friday of, best, of Black Friday. So that would be a little worrisome for me um, in terms of this card. But again, I think if you see Mbappe at a million coins, that's the all-time low for his card this year anyway. He's back up a little bit. If he goes back down to a million coins with some panic in the next couple days, I would feel decently safe enough uh, to buy there, I think. I think his card is still the, one of the most elite players in the game, and so many people want to get it uh, that that card should still go up a little bit after Black Friday. We'll just have to see on that one. But today on Wednesday, right? Actually, actually let's go back and talk Tuesday just a little bit because... I know we didn't have a lot of content yesterday. I know there's been some fluctuations on Path to Glories. And like we said, selling into the hype is the best place to go with those. But we had a Juan Quadrado, which actually Foot Sheriff leaked. And you might have seen me tweet yesterday about this. Foot Sheriff leaked Juan Quadrado as a World Cup Moments card. And I was really confused. I was like, wait a second. That promo's not out for a couple weeks yet. Um, and it's not, right? That's what the EA website says. But he was dropped as a regular moments card. It says, earn a player moments Quadrado celebrating his performance against Uruguay at the World Cup in 2014. Now, I'm actually going to do this card. I, at first, was not a huge fan of the SBC price here. But after I looked into it and I looked at the card, I was like, you know what? It actually fits my team perfectly. And um, it's not that terrible of a price. It's 225 k but really, a lot of people can do an 83 and an 84 rated squad from the club. You get a set of division rivals rewards. You get a, you do an upgrade set, like 10, 80 plus uh, plaques. You're probably going to get yourself some 83s and 84s. You'll be able to do some nice uh, squads of fodder with those. And then all you have to do is get an 85 and 86 rated squad, which is pretty easy to do when there's a lot of fodder packs available right now and still having the upgrades out. So this actually isn't that terrible of a value. Now, speaking of SPCs, let's talk fodder because we need to talk about fodder with the other content that was released yesterday we had the quadrado and an 83 plus player pick that was literally it for our content yesterday this spc is a 15 percent upvote but you know people are doing it uh because also quadrado is a 37 percent upvote now i'll be honest if you're doing quadrado you probably have a syria team or you know you have some serial players to get you some links in there it's not an insane value spc it's just kind of like alex tellez really good card middle of the road ish right for most people but if it fits your team like it does mine it's it's a good one to do 83s are up 84s are up that tells me that people are doing that 83 plus player pick even though it's a sham of a scam but fodder is a very interesting place to watch on the market because i know a lot of you guys are still invested waiting for this hero pack and at this point i'm not trying to guess when the hero pack is going to be anymore because it's probably going to be wrong whatever i guess and um, you know, it's, we have, we have, we have no idea now. I have no idea when it's going to drop. Could it still drop this week? Absolutely. There is still a very good chance that the hero pack could drop at some point in the next two or three days. But right now that's just in question because we thought we were going to have it two days ago. And here we are Wednesday with no hero pack. I will say, like we talked about with those packs that were added to the code, the 86 plus star pack, stuff like that. I would be careful with this fodder because there is number one going to be panic selling on this stuff when we get closer to Friday and all that pack supply hitting with people knowing what's going to happen. And I think that's going to be a great opportunity to buy fodder with that supply and the panic selling, to, uh, you know, combining later on in the week. But as it sits today, fodder is probably just going to keep trickling down in price unless we get a hero SBC. And if we get that hero SBC, I would take the advantage of that extra demand and sell that fodder. And hopefully what would be a bit of a bounce, I would sell that fodder then and get it out because I think that fodder is definitely up right now. It's obvious to look at some of these card prices and say, wow, fodder is up. I just honestly think that there's going to be panic selling on it and prices will drop heading into the weekend just because we know what Black Friday brings, and that is a lot of supply, right? We usually have this Neuer at 40K. Last week, he was 36, and right now, what is he? You know, 46, 47K after being 48,000 coins. So fodder is down a little bit, but I think it has a lot more drop potentially coming, you know, with the panic of the weekend uh, upcoming. So just be very careful with that, and that's something to be aware of if you have SBC fodder. Now, let's talk about today on Wednesday for a little bit. What else could we see today on Wednesday? Well, one thing I'm really hoping for today, besides the hero pack still holding out hope for that, is 
ones to watch upgrades, right? You may be invested in a guy like Chameni. You may be invested in a guy like Taliso. Now, these cards, after they get the upgrade, in my opinion, this uh, World Cup upgrade, yes, it is hype. Yes, some of these cards are going to have some demand for them. Unless it's like a Darwin Nunez type situation where the upgrade is going to be a massive upgrade, like for this Chalmany, and the card is going to become super duper meta. I would be very careful with these cards, right? Chalmany is 180,000 coins. He might drop a little bit today after the upgrade, if the upgrade even happens. It's not even guaranteed to happen today, but since these players have already kind of achieved their World Cup win, right? France won yesterday, so you would expect to see this Chalmany since once to watch is usually upgrade on Wednesdays. Go up to an 86. It's not confirmed 100%, but I would think that it's likely. Watch for some panic selling on this, maybe for the first hour or two after it gets the upgrade, and then a potential rise afterwards as people want to go and try that card out on the market. So the players that are getting updated today, Sterling, that's a big one. A lot of you guys maybe have Sterling as an SBC in your club. That's a really good untradeable card to have now with this upgrade that he should be getting. Also, Chamani, as we mentioned, Taliso being French and Delict and um, Bergwijn. I think there's only six as of right now. Um, that's actually five, not six. There's only five that are going to get upgraded. Now, of course, we've got games today on the docket, right? We've got um, Croatia, Morocco, Germany versus Japan, so a Schlotterbeck, right? Potential upgrade situation there. Spain, Costa Rica, Belgium, Canada. So I don't know if this, like, for Schlotterbeck, right? Let's say Germany win. He should get an upgrade uh, today at Wednesday content, but I don't know if that time frame is too short. I don't even know if any of these cards, like even France winning yesterday, is that too short of a time frame for EA to upgrade this Chamonix card today on Wednesday? I don't know. That's a big question mark for me today. But, of course, for other content today on Wednesday, we know we're not getting a Team of the Week, right? EA told us that Team of the Weeks are on pause uh, from now until basically the World Cup is over. So, for official brand new Team of the Week cards and packs today, that is not going to happen. But, what is going to happen regardless of that? I, I don't know. Could they start Best of Team of the Week today? I mean, hey, there's who says that there's not potential for that? I mean... You can't write that completely off. So just be careful today. Watch the leaks. Watch Twitter. Uh, watch all this stuff because I'd be I'd be careful with Team League cards. Now, I'm just buying a Nuno Menge with the Shadow here to see if it sells for you know 28K or something like that and make a quick couple thousand coins. You know what? It, let's look, it does look like it sells for 28K. That's that's a baller snipe. Okay, anyways, you can chem style trade still a little bit on this game at the moment too. Today on Wednesday, other than something with Team of the Week changing, we'll have to see. Uh, I would maybe expect to see a little bit of action in the Silver Stars category with objectives there. But again, that's not super duper hype. And maybe a pack supply SBC because we did not get one yesterday. And I believe the France challenge goes away. No, one of these goes away today. Maybe it's the other one. Or actually, the other one is already gone. So maybe we'll get another one of these challenge SBCs like we have the France challenge. Um, and then... Uh, upgrade packs go away today. So like I'm going to hopefully build 25 to 30 upgrade packs um, for today to help my craft of Quadrado and potentially pack a World Cup Path of Glory or a Hero card before they go away. So if you're wanting to stack upgrade packs for this Friday's promo because the content's not that hype right now and you want something to do, that's absolutely an option there for you as well today. So there's a lot going on in this game, a lot of questions. Stay tuned to Twitter. I don't really post a lot of leaks and retweet them on my own account, but we will talk about them here. We'll talk about them on the live stream. So we will keep you guys in the loop when we get the information on the leaks and all that stuff. So a lot of stuff to come, a lot of hype to build later on this week. And honestly, this game needs it at the moment. The World Cup is hype, but the game is unfortunately not that much. So hopefully that changes as we get towards the end of the week. But if you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.